a very good afternoon my name is alok and i welcome you once again to network nuts youtube channel so what the background says the background says lord krishna so in india we have just celebrated the birthday of lord krishna we call it krishna janmashtami janam ashtami so it was a real uh, like uh, a good day for all of indians and all of the followers of krishna Uh, throughout the world so may god gives you all the good things in life that you deserves <laughs> so keep on trying hard so that the god thinks that now it's it's the time to give you that particular thing that you are working for so apart from the blessings of, of the lord krishna and the beautiful pic here of lord krishna what for this video in this video i'm going to show you a very beautiful thing I am going to show you how to host multiple domains and create virtual mailboxes in the Postfix. If you uh, remember that in the last couple of uh, videos, I am focusing uh, on small tips and tricks of the Postfix. So I have a standard Postfix server configured here. I have my trusted virtual machine here for you. Here it here it comes my trusted VM. So here the postfix is configured already, but the problem is that normally what we do, we only host one domain on the postfix. Suppose, let me make it clear. If my uh, domain name is example dot com, so means I will be my postfix server will be taking or catering to example dot com only. That's fine. I have no issues in that. But what? if i want to host multiple domains say i want to host example.com also i want to host abc.com xyz blah 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 how to configure the postfix for that how to configure the postfix so that it will accept the mails from different domains and when we have got the problem of multiple domains we might face or we uh, we we will face a problem of how to have separate mailboxes if you like try to understand this suppose i have got a person there alok it's in example dot say example dot com don't so normally the mail goes in var spool mail alok isn't it normally the mail goes here that's fine and one of the problem is that i need to create this user account means before alok is able to receive or send the mail i need to give user at alok that is fine for a lab setup or a couple of uh, users but alok is a email user only he is never going to log in physically on the machine isn't it you have a gmail account or a yahoo account you never log in on the gmail server so am i supposed to create give user add command for each and every user that is supposed to use the mail service question number 1 another question is that what will happen if there is one more person alok in say abc.com also so by default the mail will be going in the same location so that is definitely going to create a problem means alok at abc.com's mail will also be going in var spool mail alok and alok at example.com's mail will also be going into the same location that is surely going to create a havoc in the company i want a solution for this and one more solution that i wanted that i don't want to give user ad try to understand the thing why you are creating user accounts when the user here is only a email user so the solution lies in this video so in this video i am going to show you how to host multiple domains first and how to have the virtual accounts means you are not supposed to create the user accounts by giving the user add command that is Uh, purely a waste of the resources and your time so let's start with it okay for this video what i had done i am taking the example of that apart from the example.com domain which i have already configured i i will be using abc.com and xyz.com as my virtual domains 
these will be my virtual domains so i will be using the abc.com and xyz.com as a virtual domains means my postfix server on this rel machine will be hosting three domains or will be catering to three domains example.com the default one abc.com and xyz.com and it might happen that example.com will also have a person name alok abc.com will also have a person name alok and xyz.com by coincidence in this case might have a username alok so the email should be going to different locations isn't it that makes sense so how to do that fine let's start first thing first i have the dns already configured for this video so i'm not going to dig on the dns part actually i'll just show you a brief i i hope uh, you know how to configure the dns server if you don't know the D how to configure a dns server then you are requested to to join network nuts for rsc and rscss no this is not indirect marketing i'm just advising okay fine i'll just show you i'll go to var chroot etc name.conf here i have got the example.com abc.com and the xyz dot com so i'll be hosting three domains here so the zones are already being configured i'll just show you the forward uh, the zone file of all these domains now i'll go to var named ch root var named and if i show you the abc.com for forward i just it's a normal zone file what we have with the mx record entry that's great so this is important before you do or do anything else the dns should be configured the mx record entry should be there the same i had done with in case of xyz.com that's great no issues i hope the point is clear so after the dns is clear and i am ab able to use i think ns lookup also hyphen type is equal to mx abc.com it is giving me the answer and if if i give here xyz.com that's great now when the dns is configured working fine proper now i can move ahead on on to the postfix part so as you know the postfix configuration lies in etc postfix and i have got the main configuration file as main.cf so i open my main.cf if you, rem you re if you remember the last video these are the configuration for of the last videos so these configuration are still intact there you can use all those things gradually adding up and having a uh, very good server configured for you so here i'm going to start from here i'll be configuring separate domains for email and the virtual accounts so what exactly you need to do i want multiple domains i want separate mailbox for each domain i don't want to create system accounts as they will never be used for the login they are just the mail users so it's actually a three step process step 1 i'll just make it uh, open one more terminal here to make the things easier for you just a moment give me the i'll just make it smaller that's that will do so step 1 step 1 will be i'll be defining define how many domains you want domains you want simple so i'm doing the first step i'm defining how many domains or the virtual domains you want i'll better write here virtual domains virtual domains you want that's great let me uh, reduce the spaces for you that's good so for doing that i'll just configure here step 1 this is for the step 1 i am define how many virtual domains you want just use this line virtual underscore mailbox underscore domains and then you can write your domain names like abc.com sorry comma xyz.com you can keep on adding you can keep on adding like this now that's great and what next the second step is that you should have a structure for the mailboxes isn't it because it is possible that you might have a user alok at example.com and the same person alok at xyz.com if i will follow the standard configuration that email box for both the different domain users will be varspoolmail alok 
that I don't want. I never wanted. So what to do now? I should be following some structure. Structure is that say I go to var spool mail. What I will be doing here? I'll be creating two folders. Say abc.com. The better way is to create a, a separate folders and mkdir xyz.com and make and give the permission chmod just to make the thing simple in the video i'm just making abc 777 chmod 777 xyz.com that's great so i've got uh, two uh, folders here abc.com and xyz.com so the idea is that that the email for alok at my idea is that that the email for alok at abc.com should be going in where spool mail let me make it smaller i hope you are getting the point so my idea is this that the mail for the alok at abc.com should be going in abc.com slash alok and the mail for alok at say xyz.com should be going to where spool mail xyz.com slash alloc that's the idea so i had created two different locations i means i am following a particular structure in the same manner you can add up n number of domains fine so what next i had created the folders the folders are here intact that's good now i'll move here now i need to tell the postfix to go there now tell the postfix i'll make it upper tell the postfix to use the sorry to use the new mail base so that can be by be controlled through just write virtual mailbox base and just your parent folder the parent folder in my case is var spool mail because this is the folder that is containing other subfolders for each and every domain that's great that's great now now i need to tell that for abc.com or i i need to create a lookup file for the maps now you need to create look a file that maps uh, look a file that maps email addresses to their mailbox simple mailboxes so i'll just write here virtual underscore mailbox underscore maps and then you can use the hash here say etc postfix say any file name say give virtual here because the file is already there virtual means okay the base is this but where the mapping is being configured is this file now after writing this line here i need to save out from here or need not to save save out i'll just open another terminal for you I'll just open the I'm in I'll just go to where sorry etc postfix and I open the virtual file the file is there just go to the bottom and then you need to write here say I, I write info at abc.com the mail for this email will be going here and info at I'll make it here and info at say xyz.com will be going to xyz.com slash info that's great so in this manner you, you need to create the maps save and come out whenever you do any changes here you need to give post map etc postfix virtual you need to remember this so here the job is done i i i had told the postfix to go there the file has already been created that's great that's really great i i can uh, come out but there is one last step that need to be done the last step is that i actually need to define who will be owing the mailboxes file 
so the virtual mailbox files must be owned by a user and a group that should be existing on your machine it should be a user created on your machine so either you can specify that all the virtual mailboxes should be owned by a same user or or group so it's the easy way out so i'm doing the same thing here so for the sake of the video i had already created a user here the name is vmail virtual mail and i had assigned him the uid and the gid of 103 it can be any uid gi or gid that's good so what i want to do i i want all the mail files should be owned by this user and the group now i just need to define here the who will be the owner of the mailbox files so the user is already being created if you remember i just shown you the you need to add, use the user add command and create a user here vmail as i had already created so i'm not doing it again but this you should be having this output in the etc password file and and this output in the etc group file that's good i hope you you got the point now i just need to tell the postfix to use that so i i will just write virtual underscore uid underscore maps because i am using a static one i use static and then i define the name 103 i think was the name and virtual underscore gid underscore maps is equal to static 103 sorry 3 that's it i save and come out let me check the uid gid it's 10 it's 103 here and if i check the password file it's again 103 that's good thank you so the job is done here i just need to give service postfix restart or reload and i give service dove quote restart or reload and never forget to put these services under check config now how can i try and if you see here i i had already put these abc.com and xyz.com in the masquerade domains so i need not to define word server.abc.com that's good now after doing all this configuration i what i had explained to you i go out i'll just try to do a, a simple telnet i give a telnet so i give word server.example.com i'm hitting on port number 25 i give hello I give word server dot say uh, abc dot com. So I give here mail from uh, say root at example dot com. It's okay. I give recipient to. I give say info at abc dot com. Remember, I hadn't created this user account info here. I write data. I give subject whatever like say it's raining and then the right wishing you a uh, wishing you a very happy shri krishna janmash shri krishna janmashtami whatever dot and quit that's great it's it says q so means the mail is in in the q you can always give the post q command post q hyphen p to check the q if you wish and if i say c i go to the other term uh, terminal I, if i see cat vars pool mail and abc.com info look the file comes here the file is automatically the email is automatically coming into cat vaspool mail abc.com info wishing you a very happy shri krishna janmashtami now if i do the same command oh sorry i was on other terminal sorry if i again use the same command i give hello word server 
dot example dot com say mail from say I give root at example dot com in this case I'll be it will be recipient to say info at xyz dot com it's it again says okay data then I write subject God bless anything say may God Krishna gives you all the best things in life dot quit and if again I go to cat vas pool mail in this case I'll go to XYZ and info look the file is already being created automatically being created and here comes the mail so that's the beauty means I am sending the mail to that particular email only and the info only so when the mail is being sent to info at xyz.com it goes to a different location and when the mail is sent to xyz at abc.com in that case the mail is going to a different location so I hope you understand the concept and the idea behind the video so in this manner you can hold multiple domains and have virtual mailboxes without creating actual user accounts on the machine so I hope you like this video thank you very much God bless and once again a very happy Shri Krishna Janmashtami bye